Hello and welcome. I'm Anthony Ladon and this is my cocktail video. Today, by special request from Genesis Jimenez, we're gonna be making the margarita, but not just any margarita, no, no, no. The basic margarita. I don't know what that is. The history of the margarita is hotly debated, but this one thing I know for sure, I didn't invent it. Or did I? One origin story on Wikipedia, that bastion of incontrovertible facts, states that Carlos Danny Herrera at a restaurant situated exactly halfway between Tijuana and Rosarita, Rosarito, Baja California, oh, I could just say that, Baja California, made it for a dancer named Marjorie King. Apparently she was allergic to many spirits except tequila. First of all, Danny, if you're going by a name in quotes, you haven't thought this whole thing through. Why keep the Carlos part up front? Just go by Danny Herrera, right? Like if I introduce myself as just Darius Ladon, that'd be normal. But if I introduce myself as Anthony Darius Ladon, my life would be in shambles. Second, why do we need to know that the restaurant is exactly halfway between Tijuana and Rosarito, Baja California? Is that some sort of Manchurian candidate thing? The restaurant located halfway between Tijuana and Rosarito, Baja California. Now, and third, Marjorie just happens to be allergic to everything except tequila. How'd that conversation go? Mr. Bartender man, make me a drink. How about a Manhattan? <laughs> no, I get gassy. How about a martini? Gin makes me poop weird. How about tequila? Okay, yeah. You could have just led with that. This drink only requires three, it, that was two. This drink only requires three ingredients. I did it right this time. I didn't do this one or like weird. Three ingredients, oh. tequila, Cointreau or triple sec, and lime. You can use any tequila you like as long as you like it. Which I guess is kind of redundant saying that. Just make sure it says 100% agave, 100% blue agave. Just make sure your tequila says that. If it doesn't, it probably tastes like grunt. The second key ingredient for this drink is going to be Cointreau or triple sec. Now, you can taste both. Cointreau has a little more, like a, a little stronger orange flavor. It's a little less sweet. Hiram Walker or De Kuiper make a triple sec. This is cheap stuff. It's not bad, it's actually pretty good because it's a little bit sweeter and you might need some of that sweetness for the drink to counteract the lime. Marie Brizard, if I'm pronouncing that correctly, is my absolute favorite triple sec maker, but that stuff costs three times more than this stuff. This is bottom barrel and this is what I end up using almost every day. Uh, I do kind of like the 60 proof part of this because it's not quite as syrupy sweet as the regular triple secs. You can experiment, try out different triple secs, see what you like. Orange curacao, same type of liqueur, uh, but again, they just taste a little bit different. Some of them you just use different types of oranges, different types of base spirits. Some of them are neutral grain spirits. Some of them are cognac or brandy based. Just try them out, see which one you like best. Today, we're gonna be using regular old, is this Hiram Walker? Yeah, Hiram Walker, 60 proof, triple sec. Oh, and lime, quick thing about lime. Freshly squeeze it, always squeeze it fresh. Don't use that shitty sorbot stuff. It doesn't even taste like lime. Let's, let's prep our lime juice. You'll notice I'm using a double strainer here. The whole point of a double strainer is just to make sure that there's no pulp that gets into the, the final drink. I just don't, it's not, it's not good. It's not fun. You get pulp stuck in your teeth and then you know, good. people look at you and laugh and stare and point and it's just, it gets embarrassing really. If you don't have one of these, I highly recommend getting it. It makes pressing citrus fruit so fast and easy. It's a lot better than those stupid reamer ones. They end up taking the fruit and then you're just like reaming it in there and hopefully you get it in the jar, in the glass or bowl or whatever. It's better than the glass bottomed one with a reamer on top where then you take the fruit and you slam it on there and crush it down. Those are a pain in the ass because then you got to throw them in the dishwasher and wash them. This one's just super easy. It's just throw it in, done. Oh, the other thing is, I hope you notice that I have a glass of chilled water. This is the glass that we will be putting this drink into, but I want it to be cold first. So to start, I've got my ice in here and we are going to be using two ounces of tequila. Next up, three quarter ounce lime juice. And last but not least, a half ounce of triple sec. Let's give it a good shake. We're gonna shake this until the tin gets frosty, until our fingers kind of stick to it. That's when we know it's cold enough. Dump our chilling water 
Now the last step before we pour, we're gonna take the lime that we used to make juice, rub it around the rim. Just give it a nice little rim job here. Perfect. Salt, I use kosher salt. It's better, it's, it's a little bit thicker. The granules are nice and the crystals are perfect. Uh, it's better than just regular old iodized salt because then it's like you're licking a salt shaker and that's not as fun as it sounds. And just give it a little swirly do here. Tap it off if that looks like too much, which it does. Here we go, perfect. Hawthorne strainer. I'm actually gonna double strain this to remove any little tiny chunks of ice because this is gonna be a refined margarita. There we go, the margarita. Let's try it. You get a nice salty kick up front. You got the acid from the lime coming through, the, the orange triple sec to kind of mellow it out just a little bit. And all throughout that whole sip, the flavor of the tequila is coming through. Oh, oh my God, that's so good. Now, let's say you just want to have this in a little less formal setting. Get yourself a double old fashioned glass. Put a cube in there. Let's see if I can do this without making a mess. No mess. No mas. Now it's already chilled, so you don't need to have a ton of ice in there. But if you wanted to take the super lazy way out of this, and I've been known to do this a lot, fill the glass with ice. You don't even need to mix and shake. You don't need to shake the whole thing. Just pour the ingredients straight in. Give it a little slurp, uh, slurp. Give it a little stirry do, and you're good to go. The margarita, de nada. De nada. Oh my God. That's really good. I like that. I might have this one now. Ooh. Thanks for joining. Be sure to subscribe uh, somewhere over there. You can click to see more videos here. Also here. Thanks for joining. Don't forget to subscribe and click in one of these areas for some more videos. Hope to see you again soon. Thanks.